All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your Windows 11 PC using DS4 Windows, and I'm also going to show you how to connect it to your PC using Bluetooth. And this is a good option for playing different games and actually having your controller show up because it actually emulates and pretends that your PlayStation 5 controller is an Xbox 360 controller. So what you're going to need to do is first you're going to want to go to the DS4 Windows download page on GitHub. If you Google it, you don't want to go to this first result because whoever owns this website is not actually the developer of DS4 Windows. Instead, you want to go to the GitHub page releases Ryochan 7. I'll go ahead and link this in the video description below. And today we're going to be basically installing three things. The .NET Framework, the Vision Bus Driver. It'll ask you to install that driver in the actual software, but I'm just going to have you do it before you install DS4 Windows, just to save on time and headache. And then you're also going to download and install DS4 Windows itself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the .NET 8 desktop runtime. It's from Microsoft. It's just the framework that the interface runs off of. Um, I actually recommend instead of grabbing 8, that you grab number nine, which is available on the website. I'll go ahead and link to it in the video description below. Just grab the .NET desktop runtime 9.0.9, .9, and you want the X64 edition right here under Windows. And then after you've got that, you're going to want to grab the Vision Bus driver. You want to go to this first result here, releases nefarious Vision Bus. It's created by a, a developer who makes open source and paid software called Nefarious Software Solutions. And you want to grab the latest edition of Vision Bus. There's only one download for it. It's right here. The Vision Bus 1.22.0 x64 x86 ARM64. Go ahead and download this. I just put all of these together in a folder called Windows 11 Controller 2025. That way it's all organized and together. And then the last thing you'll want to do is grab a zip file here of DS4 Windows 3.3.3 x64, and then get those all together in a folder. Now, before we install any of that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and pair my controller with my computer by going into my Windows 11 settings and on the left hand sidebar going to Bluetooth and devices. From here, I can grab my controller, got my PS5 controller in my hand, and we're going to press the PlayStation logo button in the center between the two joysticks. And then you're going to want to press the pill shaped button on the left half of the controller on the left side of the touch pad in the middle. And you're going to want to press and hold those together until the light bar around the center begins to flash rapidly like you're at a disco party. Once it does, you'll be able to click on the add device button here, click on find a Bluetooth device, and then it should show up right here as a wireless controller. Go ahead and click on that. And once it's done pairing, the light bar on your controller should just start glowing like a solid color. And you can click done. From here, we'll go ahead and minimize that. And we will open back up our folder with all of our installables in it. And then you're going to want to go through and install Windows Runtime for the .NET Framework 9.0.9. .9. And then you're going to want to go through and download and install Vision Bus. Well, I guess you should already have it downloaded, but install Vision Bus after that. I'm not going to go back through that because I've already got both of them installed. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the zip folder with DS4 Windows in it. We're going to extract that to a folder of the same name. And then inside of this folder, you should see a little rainbow icon right here. It says DS4 Windows. That's the one that's the actual little uh, program. Give that a double click. And you'll know that everything is installed correctly when it asks you where you want to save your program settings. Always save them in the program folder, not your app data folder, because that way, if you ever have to reset DS4 Windows or you want to uninstall DS4 Windows, you don't have to hunt down all the pieces and all the settings files from your app data folder on your computer. It's all in one place and easy to manage. So we're going to put that in our program folder. And then next is the enable devices support window. This is basically asking you what controllers you want to have support enabled for with this software. 
Essentially right now it's just set up to work with the PlayStation 4 controller, which is what DS4 is. Instead, we want to unclick the top one and then click on DualSense device support, which is what the PlayStation 5 controller is. It's the DualSense controller. Um, if you want to use both PS4 and PS5 controllers, you can select both of these. It also supports the Pro Controller, the Joy-Con, and the PS3 controller. However, it does cause some issues with some users if you enable more support than you actually need. So only enable what you need. In this case, we're only going to activate the DualSense device support, and we're going to hit close. From there, it'll pop open the actual software, and then it should start automatically. And then you'll notice that it already grabbed my PlayStation 5 controller and added it to the list here, and it says DualSense. It's got my device's Bluetooth ID. And at this point, we're good to go. I can now start playing games, and it's going to pretend my controller is a Xbox 360 controller. I know it's not super convenient to have Xbox buttons shown up on screen, but if every program had the ability to display PlayStation buttons, that would mean that they have PlayStation controller support and we wouldn't have to do this. Um, if you're not seeing this show up and it's just a blank list, you might have it started in stopped mode. It happens sometimes. If that's the case and you see start at the bottom here, just click start. It should then manually start up and do start doing the stuff with the things. You have to leave this open and running, even if it's in the background, for this to function as a driver for your games to be used for controllers. A couple notes for this is there are a few games out there that treat this as a cheating software because some people in certain first person shooter games add additional scripts to DS4 Windows to use it to cheat. So when that happens, it'll either refuse to launch your game when DS4 Windows is running, or it'll block DS4 Windows from functioning, which will mean that you'll have to use a different driver like the Steam drivers, or just buy yourself an Xbox controller and save yourself a lot of headache. Uh, the last thing I will say is if you wanna try using this as a PlayStation controller using DS4 Windows, you can hit edit right here on this listed device to change the settings. It'll bring up a window that contains all of your key binding settings where you can click these buttons and rebind them to any button either on a standard Xbox controller or on your keyboard. What you want to do instead is go over here to other and then you can change the emulation type here at the top of this other section from Xbox 360 to DualShock 4 and then hit save. And what this is going to do is it's now going to regularly show this controller as a PlayStation controller rather than an Xbox controller. However, this will not work in a lot of games. If you find that this has stopped your controller from working in the game you want to try to play, go back into this edit menu, go back to other and change it back to Xbox 360 emulation, and then hit save. And then that's it. You should be good to go and start playing games. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.